I am Severina Neingo, course coordinator for Bachelor in Education Senior Primary BESP. Bachelor in Education Senior Primary is registered on the National Qualification Framework NQF on Level 8. Thank you for choosing the Institute for Open Learning, IOL, as your partner in education. Upon registration, all students have access to the IOL student portal. The portal contains all the important information as well as the study material needed for effective and pleasant study experience. Important best information, the Bachelor in Education Senior Primary is offered with electronic book called the Kindle. The Kindle is preloaded with the necessary study material for the enrolled qualification. New material can be uploaded at any time throughout the study period. Bachelor in Education Senior Primary has four major subject electives. You will have to select one of the combination, Natural Science and Health Education and English, Natural Science and Health Education and Mathematics, Social Science and English, Mathematics and English. BESP also has two minor electives from which you need to select one, Agricultural Education and Design and Technology, and three Career Specialization from which you need to select one, Teaching and Assessment Mentoring, school leadership and management, and curriculum theory and practice. BESP is a four-year qualification for which IOL distance education students receive up to eight years to complete the qualification. You need to meet certain academic criteria in order to submit assignment for the next year. To submit the second year assignments, student needs to pass seven subjects in the first year. To submit the third year assignment, student needs to pass 10 first year and seven second year subjects. To submit the fourth year assignment, student needs to pass all 11 first year, 12 second year subjects, and six third year subjects. School-based study is a compulsory subject for all the education qualification, include BESP. The student must qualify to do SBS at a school of their choice. Each phase has a specific number of weeks that the student will have to do their practical at the school. Requirements to qualify for best school-based study. Phase one, after six first-year subjects are completed. Phase two, after nine first-year and six second-year including SBS phase one are passed. Phase three, after 11 first-year, 10 second-year including SBS phase two are passed. Phase 4, after 11 first year, 13 second year, 6 third year including SBS phase 3 are passed. Duration for school-based study. Phase 1, 4 weeks. Phase 2, 4 weeks. Phase 3, 4 weeks. And phase 4, 5 weeks. You will receive an SMS once you qualify for SBS. You then have to submit a principal permission letter, PPL, with the information of the school of your choice. This PPL is available on your portal. The SMS assignment and study guide will be made available to you after submission of the PPL. To qualify for basic first aid, Basic first aid is a compulsory subject in BESP. BESP students qualify for BFA after the completion of all year one, 
two, three subject and any nine subject in year four. You will be informed via text message to book for BFA once you qualify to do BFA. Research. Research project phase one and two is a fourth year subject. Students who meet requirements to do research project phase one and two need to do the following. Print the research project phase one and two assignments or guidelines from the student portal. Watch phase one and two recorded video on the IOL YouTube channel. Search for Institute for Open Learning on YouTube and subscribe to access the video. You should ensure you have made use of the updated information on the portal, for example, change on the schedule, etc. You must have your own email address. You must submit the research proposal and project typed in Microsoft Word to the following email address, bestresearch at tgh. Dot NA. The due dates are the 15th of January, the 15th of April, the 15th of July, and the 15th of October. Please stick to the due dates. Late research proposal and project will only be marked for the next due date. Assessment of the research project, which is proposal and report. The assignment is in the form of a research proposal of about 15 pages. This in excludes the title page, the content, and the reference pages. There is no further examination apart from the research project report for which a 60% pass is required. Students who do not achieve the required 60% must resubmit their research project. The marking of research is done according to the standard checklist and also moderated. All assignments can be found on the student portal and should be submitted on time. The due date is the 15th of January and in June of each year. The June due date will depend on the Ministry of Education's official school calendar and will be communicated to students. If you email or courier your assignment, you should ensure that you courier or mail it on time to reach IOL office before or on the assignment due date. Assignment received after the due date will be returned to you. Assignment with a pass mark of at least 50% ensure admission to the examination. You should, under no circumstances, copy from another student. Should copied assignment be detected by the tutor, all students involved will be allocated a mark of 2%. The disciplinary committee will evaluate the copied assignment, which may result in students being suspended for one year, which is two consecutive examination sessions. For submitting the wrong assignment, for example, the previous year or another subject, you will receive a mark of 3%. All unmarked assignment will be sent back to you with the reason why it was not marked. The contact classes. IOL has a scheduled pre-recorded contact classes on Saturdays for examination preparations. The contact class timetable is made available on IOL's Facebook page and are informed via text message. You are advised to write at least three subjects of your qualification per examination session to ensure completion of study within the given time frame. 
IOL implemented an online examination booking system which allow you to write examinations at a time convenient to your schedule. You can only write the examination at the examination center indicated on your admission permit. In case you have questions regarding this qualification, do not hesitate to contact me at 061-270-9158. Or you can email me at severina n at tgh.na.